All right, so before you guys watch me put on the graphics on the new pit bike, I want to quickly announce the Black Friday deal slash like Cyber Monday deal. If you guys want to stay up to date on the deals as I release them and stuff, I've already released two deals for the past two days for Black Friday on my Instagram and Snapchat. So if you want to follow me there with all the normal like posts I make and Instagram stories and Snapchat stories, and it's easier to talk to you guys on Snapchat. So make sure to follow me there so you can see all those deals. But I want to announce a strictly, I haven't announced this on my Instagram or Snapchat yet. So for Saturday, and Sunday I'll going into like Monday a little bit into Monday we'll see how far into Monday so if you guys spend over ten dollars on the website for stickers you're automatically entered into the giveaway and I'll randomly pick somebody to win the side plate off my uh, 250 so you win like one person will win the right side the left side both side plates are two winners right here so one will win this and one will win that then two other people will win this one and another person will win that one. So if you want to be entered into the giveaway to win these, I was just going to take the graphics off. I thought it was kind of cool to give them away if uh, somebody wanted them. I thought it was a pretty cool idea to uh, incorporate into the Black Friday deal. The deal right now I'm doing is 25% off the entire website on all of the stickers. You get free shipping and you also get two free stickers in your order. I've got all the normal stickers. I've got the clap stickers. I've got a new gold one that's going to be very limited. You're not going to be able to order this, but I'm going to include it in a couple orders here and there as one of the free stickers. Look go pro slow. Then I also have the uh, good to go stickers right here. I've got a bunch of different colors. Definitely check them out. Like I said, 25% off. You get two free stickers and it's free shipping. You're entered into the giveaway to win the plastics. If you don't want the plastics, just say you don't want it. And I'm just going to get it and I'm going to ship it to you. So I thought it was a pretty cool idea for a giveaway. If you guys want to check out the sales, the first line down in the description, you're not like, if you want these, there's no other possible way you're going to be able to get them because somebody's going to have them. So any order over $10, you're automatically entered into the giveaway. Plan on if you order them Saturday or Sunday, they're going to be shipped out Monday morning. And then if you order it, obviously later than that, Tuesday, Wednesday, I plan on getting them all shipped out. So definitely check it out. Also, have the new hoodies with the new designs on them so I have the hoodie in multiple different colors super super soft material like that fuzz stuff on the inside I have this on a hoodie and also on a t-shirt if you want to check that out that'll be the second line in the description if you want to check those out for Christmas I try to order them now if you're planning on having them be a Christmas gift just so Teespring can get their stuff in order and uh, get them out to you guys so if you want them now I would order them so you can get them by Christmas also if you stay to the very end of the video I'm going to announce the giveaway for this RC car that I said I was gonna do the granite 4x4 by Arma one of the truck definitely stay to the end of the video and uh, you'll find out how to win this thing and get it for free basically So I think sometime this month I'm going to try to daily vlog like for a week, five, six, seven days. Not really sure yet if I can even do that. I'm going to walk you through kind of um, the sticker process and whatever before we get into the pit bike graphics, which is the main purpose of today's video. I think in the same video I'm going to announce how I'm going to give away the RC car, run you down on that, do the first drive and kind of my review on it all in the same video. So I don't have a ton of time, so I've got to power wash it, clean it all up so I can take some Instagram pictures after that or take it in the morning, but I don't want to put graphics on a dirty bike. But yeah, now that all these stickers are good to go, I just have to cut them individually all one by one. I could use a cutter, but I just use a knife and ruler. But I got my work cut out for me. Got to cut all these out and then um, organize them. So every sticker that you guys order, it's fully made. Everything is done by me, step by step, shipped out by me. All right, all the teal stickers are done. I got a fat stack clap stickers here. I move on to the white ones, get those ones done, and then I just gotta start printing some more colors because these are the only ones I focused on the other night. At least like 10 people would be interested in this process. If not, just skip ahead in the video a little bit and I will get into the, the dirt bike graphics or pit bike graphics. And boom, got the white ones done. So if you guys want to check these out, the link's first line down in the description. By the time you're seeing this video, should have the uh, new, like, good-to-go stickers. And I try to place your order pretty soon here if you want to get them by Christmas for, like, a Christmas gift or the hoodies for a Christmas gift. Because it could take up to, like, a week to two weeks to get them uh, to your house, depending on where you live. So if you're international, it's going to take a little bit longer, obviously, but... Um, otherwise you should get it within a week. Forgot to do step one. This is later. I was reviewing the footage and um, I totally forgot step one of this whole sticker process, which is comes out in a, a little 12 by, I don't know, 12 by 12 sheet. And uh, all I do is I just peel off this edge and all the stickers is just cut individually. And then I just peel 
all of this off like that and then each sticker is revealed then i have to pick out every little section one by one to make these sections which is the actual clap sticker and then i have to cut these out individually like you've already seen so it's a long long process right now i like the way these look and i don't want to change it All right, so it's the next day. I'm about to head to Ryan's to try to put on this graphics to this live stream tonight, which uh, you probably should have already seen if you uh, follow along with the live streams. If you don't follow along with the live streams, I'll leave the link at the top of the description on you now. I'm going to do like one or two live streams a week, hopefully, as I'm doing projects on the new build. A um, couple bikes in the winter, along with like a ride in snowmobiles, dirt bikes, whatever. Like as I'm doing it, pop on a quick live stream. You know, you guys can follow me there. But regardless, I have the pit bike really fast, power wash it to get it clean before I uh, put the graphics on tonight. And um, yeah, she'll be pretty sick by the time it's done. And uh, you've probably already seen it in the thumbnail. It's yeah, it's locked up. It definitely needs some brake cleats. It's dragging, because the spring, because it's all custom, the spring doesn't retract properly. Because I had to cut the spring in half and it just makes it so it doesn't want to pull back right. I just had, right yeah, I had to, I cut that spring in half to f make it fit because this whole bracket's custom. Because I cut this thing because I have an extended, uh, I have an extended four inches on the Why swing arm. Why don't you arm. just tighten this even more? Can't, because then there's no more uh, brake cleat left. Well, I know so, it's been junk, I just haven't bought it yet. I mean, wouldn't it make more sense know. if it was junk that this, would be super loose but it's not There's i tightened no it up movement whatsoever yeah because i tightened it i don't know the pit bike needs some work over the winter for sure i think this definitely another no, five build series videos oh dude you gotta go through the carb it needs uh I'll redo all the throttle the clutch the springs the rear brake cleats front wheel bearings stuff oil the change air filter cleanage bikes all loaded up good to go and uh we're gonna head to ryan's stop at tim hortons first get a little snack and then uh get to putting these graphics on justin's here that light bar is so bright oh my all right so i just got the ryan's house phil's here mike's here uh obviously ryan's here at ryan's house <laughs> anyways we just got to ryan's house i got the graphics over here about to start up this live stream um gotta wipe it off because it was raining outside got a little bit wet let's get straight into this graphics it's gonna be hard to balance filming on here and then doing the live stream thing because that's like a first look on the graphics because i said ryan no i didn't you said ryan phil what are you doing some no handers dude <laughs> What is this? What are you doing, freestyle or something? Here's the front number plate. We're putting it on the bike right now. I got the uh, the side shrouded as revealed on the live stream. Uh, if you guys didn't come through the live stream, you guys are lame. Put the front number plate on. Go step by step. I'm probably gonna. It's not gonna be as detailed on the camera. I might do a little time lapse or something um, of me putting the entire thing on. And I think it's all lined up. I already know I'm gonna have to peel them off a bunch. That's not lined up. All right, so we got the live stream going right now. We got the uh, the front number plate all good to go, all put on. There I go saying good to go again. But um, yeah, it came out pretty good. Ryan's getting a torch so I can heat it up a little bit, have it stretch and stick a little bit better. But I'm um, just gonna do the front. I don't think I have fork guards, but I will do the, the front fender and then move on to the shrouds. And the came out good, only took like five, 10 minutes, not even, not too bad. Heating up the front number plate, getting it to seal down good. Um, Ryan came through with the torch as I dropped this. So uh, it's gonna help out. Probably like, what, 40 degrees? Probably like 40 degrees outside, super cold. The heater's not working. So uh, help them stick a little bit better. And if anybody's put on graphics before, you know that it's garbage to put on when it's cold and it's a pain to work with. And it's just easier when you heat it up a little bit. So I'm not the vinyl expert. I just know it helps it heat them up. So what are we doing here, guys? We got copper. Tyler's live streaming right now. So we're about we pulled to... a couple of M80s. I mean, these are far from M80. <laughs> you think? Fuck. I don't know how to fire What are you doing? Yeah, we'll just lay them all at once. <laughs> Go off, We're getting the front. We're getting the front uh, fendered. Mike, come on, dude. <laughs> hey, the chicken food. Oh, it's creasing right there. <laughs> all right, we got the front fender one put on. Looks decent. Honestly, I'd just run it like that. Without the front, the back graphics, I like just the front, front. Putting the shroud out now, I got the little gas tank one. Honestly, I kind of like the way it looks without 
like just the front. Okay, so I just got the shroud put on. You probably can't see much on the camera unless it's super bright because they are kind of dark or they kind of blend in with the black. And uh, yeah, the bride moves up a little bit closer. But I like the way they came out to be honest. I got to get a few little air bubbles out. But overall, I like the black. I like the black and the the black look to be honest. I think it looks really good. Yeah, it does look Honestly, good. Honestly, it ties That in. looks way better. Now that seeing it together, not just on the, uh, like, not on the bike. Yeah, like that. Honestly, if I didn't put the back on, that would look really good. It's like a, like a pit. It looks like a race like, pit bike. A, a racing pit bike. It literally looks like a, like I should be racing. This. I just tool around in the side lawn with it. Don't even really <laughs> race it. But you know what? I don't care. It looks pretty cool though. Can't admit. Post a comment down below what you think of the graphics so far without seeing the rest of them put on. But um, I think the majority, some are going to say they like the old white plastics. I can't deny, kind of like that, but I think I like this a little bit more. Give this video a thumbs up for the graphics, and I'll just keep chugging along and trying to get these things put on. Side panels on with the numbers. Um, it's like a faint 188. I like that it doesn't stick out a ton, that it's really just a simple design. I've actually gotten this done. How long is this live stream? This has been going 50 minutes, so I'd say a good like 20 minutes for the first like three graphics, which isn't terrible for me. Typically, my copy would took me like three hours, so. All right, I think I got it lined up pretty. No, nope, I messed it up. They're not gonna be perfect. I don't care for them to be, I don't care for the graphics to be perfect, perfect. But as long as they look decent, there's not a bunch of crinkles in it. You guys remember my uh, my coloring book graphics for my, my first graphic set for my 14. I call them the coloring book because I had like 20 different colors, pink, purple, blue, red, green, whatever. But um. Yeah, those ones are all I, I jacked up when I went to go put it. those on on the on the I number plates. Oh my god, they were so bad, but I ran them until I got the new ones. A lot of people liked them, a lot of people didn't. I wasn't a huge fan of them, but whatever. They did the job for, for a little bit. What? Look, at the edge over here. No, that looks just fine. Look at the edge. That looks that fine. Looks really good on camera. So I think it matches really good side to side. Let me get a little preview. I'll show you guys from the back right now. It kind of looks purplish, to be honest. I think it looks sick. I really think it looks sick. It looks like a racing pit bike now. I'm so hyped on this thing. But at the Traction MX, definitely check out their seat covers for uh, probably best seat covers in the game, I'd say. Fully custom, check out their website. I'll leave the link down below in the description. You guys know all the other parts on the pit bike. If not, check the build series videos. I walk you through step by step on how I built this thing. Also, I'm looking for a BBR swing arm with the axle box. If any of you out there have one or will sell it to me or whatever, DM me on Instagram, at Tyler Monaghan, because I want one because it'll just make it so much more dialed, more solid. So definitely let me know if you have one or where I can possibly purchase one. Because a lot of people ask, this is just the Pistor Pro front end with the forks and stuff. It's just directly off the Pistor Pro 140. I have to fix the rear rim and repaint it a little bit because it started to peel off. It was just spray painted. But maybe I'll get them powder coated over the winter along with the hubs and stuff. Get All right, Anthony just got here. He's being obnoxious as usual. I want to announce the uh, the new gold clap stickers. I'll show you guys on the bike in a minute. This is why it's going to come over. <laughs> All right, here's a better view. So you got the, uh, it's obviously got, it's got the uh, transfer tape on them and the Look Pro Go Slow stickers and the Good To Go stickers and I just got the Ryans. He's moving my bike for me, being super generous today. Going on the uh, pit bike graphics. Try to finish up the other side, get the back fender on. And then I'll hopefully, since it snowed today, rip it around in the snow for a little bit because that would be kind of funny. Huge shout out to uh, Mellow Design Co. If you want to follow him on Instagram, it's just right there. Mellow Design Co. Um, any custom graphics, definitely hit them up. They can pretty much do any design, anything you want, customize it fully to you. You can change it, go back and forth, do exactly what you want. It'll come out perfect. So like I said, I'll leave their link directly down below in the description to their Instagram. All right, Ryan's getting the back fender applied right now. I was busy trying to get the live stream set up. Yeah, black on black looks good. It's got a little space there. I really think the black looks way better than what the white would have been. Probably got snow, so it's probably gonna be a lot more pit bike videos. All right, now you guys can see that pretty good. I'll give you guys a little up close. This camera picks it up really good, so I think it came out pretty decent on the graph. Got this put on like first go, so pretty surprised in myself. I'm getting pretty good at putting graphics on now, I'd say. I put a couple kits on recently, and all the stickers that I make, it actually helps out. Sick. It looks factory. Factory. People are gonna hate on them. I don't care, I think they look sick. Um, and I can always change it up at the end of the day. If I really don't like them, I can tear them off, get a new graphics kit, get different plastics. But um, I'm happy with them. The Hondas, I think they look good. 
Yeah. New Honda's yeah. looks the pretty sure I'm waiting for this thing to catch on fire. Measure out the vinyl. It's over here in a roll. This is what I use for the stickers. But um, I'm just gonna measure it out, wrap it around the fork, try to get the PDF for this, try to make my own if you guys would want the pip, like maybe like a limited like 50 stickers. If you guys wanna um, get them before Christmas, I probably could get that done. But uh, yeah, let me know, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll try to get those made. I like the green and the black, I really do. I think it came out really good. I like that you can't really see the sparkles unless you get really close. From a distance, it kind of blends into 188, but until you get like really, really up close, you can't tell that it's really sparkly in the graphic. Also post a comment if uh, you think I should do the same design, different colors on my 250. So maybe I, I won't do like the, the color shift, maybe I'll just do these like a white, but overall like the same style, um, do the same TMMX in white possibly, and then change the green to a teal and uh, just do the green front. But if I do end up changing the plastic color, which I'm thinking about doing um, white front number plate, white fender, fork guards, and then the rest black, and then do as far as this side goes, I really didn't, um, if I focus the camera, it came out pretty clean and then I got lazy on the inside here just to see what it would look like because I have a ton of vinyl. All right, so Ryan's telling me that it's gonna look like trash if I end up doing this all black. He thinks it's too much. I don't know, I think it'll look cool. If you come back from a distance here, if all the whole fork tube was black. I don't know, let me know if I should come back to it, if I should follow through with it, or just leave it gold how it is. Ryan wants to rip it around a little bit. It's so cold outside. It should start at first day. Yeah, because it's been in the garage, but it's gotta warm up for a while. They're gonna slip on, the th they're gonna slip on this ice. Yeah, now that's a little bit better in the sun. It kind of shimmers, shines with that uh, holographic kind of sparkle. But um, yeah, I think it came out really good. The gas is off. It's out of gas. No, it's out of gas. I'll put it on reserve. All right, that's a wrap for right now. I'm gonna show you guys, or not show you guys, I gotta get a thumbnail and a little bit outside to uh, get that to sparkle, take a couple Instagram pics. Like I said, well, we're gonna go get some lunch. Full suit if they have a Carhartt suit because that definitely would be a game changer for the winter because I hate being cold, the whole onesie thing. I think it's worth it personally. Also, speaking of clothes, shout out to uh, the Delb, Donzi. If you guys are into uh, pit bike videos, just want pit, well, he does a little more than pit bike videos now, but if you wanna check him out, Sick pit bike video, sick pit bike track. I'll leave his link down below in the description. Wow. Dell, if you want to look at his apparel, the um, this hoodie, a couple of their shirts and uh, things like that. You'll see his stuff and the other shirts and stuff in the future videos when I wear those. But regardless, check him out. All right, so if you made it to the end of the video, this is where I'm giving away a Arma Granite 4x4 truck. I'm still gonna do the review on it, so it's gonna be a, the tires are gonna be a little bit dirty. I'll clean it the best I can, but I'm, you're gonna get a brand new truck regardless. So I'm um, staying lookout for that review. Probably in another one of my videos coming up soon. But um, this is a brush. It's gonna come with batteries, controller, everything you need to go. RTR, basically ready to go. Perfect Christmas gift. So to enter to win this thing, all you have to do is one, follow me on Instagram. It's just at Tyler Monaghan. You have to follow Arma's Instagram. I'll have all the information down in the description on the steps on you need to do the step by step on what you need to do to enter the giveaway. But like I said, follow me on Instagram. Follow Arma on Instagram. You have to give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. You have to make sure you're subscribed, first of all. That's major. You have to be subscribed to the YouTube channel. And I'll hit that little red button down below. Turn on the little post notifications. And then next, just post the comment down in the comments. Um, Granite 4x4 giveaway. Also, go to my most recent picture on Instagram if you want a double chance to win. And post Granite 4x4 giveaway on my most recent post on Instagram. 
That's all you have to do, and you're gonna enter into the giveaway. And uh, yeah, hopefully one of you can win it. I'm gonna announce the winner probably in like a, two weeks or so in one of my upcoming videos, or I'll just DM you on Instagram or send you a private message via um, YouTube. And a look out in your messages, and um, yeah, hopefully one of you win. And uh, yeah, you're getting a sick truck, really, really good quality, and uh, it's free, so why not enter the giveaway? And it's really simple, maybe 30 seconds of your time to enter the giveaway. I closed it out probably in the graphics thing, but if you guys enjoyed it, definitely hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.